Thanksgiving prayer for the gift of life of Delia Agbon, Marby Tingson, and for the healing and recovery of Alice Viterbo, Nina Delfino, Ray Catani, and all COVID patients, for guidance and protection of the following families, Espanol, Faitaren, Javier, Tingson, Nicolazora, Diaz de Rivera, Aliones, Helia, Del Rosario, Hoxon, Reyes, Viola, Carione, Salazar, Katangi, Gayares, Catalan, Rodriguez, Saludares, De Leon, Pagdanganan, Hernandez, De Guia, Cancino, Tubiera, Peregrino, Sarmiento, Onofre, for all the servants of Feast Ortigas District, for all the programs of Feast Ortigas District, for all formators, staffs, and seminarians of St. John Paul II Minor Seminary, and for all petitions submitted to the Ortigas Feast Antecessory Ministry. Good day, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Eucharist this 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. In the Gospel, Jesus teaches us to help our erring brothers and sisters and lead them to conversion and reform. Let us pray that the Lord may soften our hearts and fill them with patience and love. And may the Holy Spirit dispose the hearts of our erring brethren to our patient urgings and concern admonitions. Our Mass presider for this Eucharistic celebration is Reverend Father Bugi Takdoro, SSP. Let us begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, and my brothers and sisters, and sisters, that I have greatly I sinned sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, 
through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We God in the highest, and on earth peace with people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you. We adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Lord. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, You son of man, I have appointed watchmen for the house of Israel. When you hear me say anything, you shall warn them for me. If I tell the wicked, O oh, wicked one, you shall surely die. And you do not speak how to dissuade the wicked from his way. The wicked shall die for his guilt, but I will hold you responsible for his death. But if you warn the wicked, trying to turn him from his way, and he refuses to turn from his way, he shall die for his guilt, but you shall save yourself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God. And we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, they tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, Owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandments there may be, are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God was reconciling the word to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Again, Amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Okay, so isang mapagpalang araw po sa inyong lahat. No? Uh, blessed weekend to all of you. And I hope that uh, from where you are, you are safe and continue to be with your family and loved ones this weekend. We are now on the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. No? And the readings today tell us about the reality that is happening within our family or within our community. Ang tinatawag nating conflict. No? Hindi maiwasan yan. Kahit sa buhay mag-asawa, magkakaibigan, pamilya o komunidad. No? There's always that conflict. No? Pag, di pagkaunawaan, hindi pagkakaintindihan, at minsan naman ay nauuwi sa samaan ng loob. So these are the reality that uh, we are having, no? especially during this time of pandemic. Kasi tayo-tayo na lang no? ang magkakasama araw-araw. Hindi tayo nakakalabas para uh, mag-isa, mag-unwind. No? Kasi kaya nga, the more that we uh, are together, the more that also uh, there's a possibility no? of that conflict and tension within our family and community. But the reading today no, tells us, ano bang dapat nating gawin? No, ano bang mga paalaala para maiwasan no, at marisolba ang mga bagay na ito? This is the reality, but we could always overcome it. In the first reading, the prophet Ezekiel tells us that he's the prophet of the kingdom of Israel. And he's not only the mouthpiece of God or the voice of God, but also serve as the watchdog to the people. Yan ang term na ginamit ni Ezekiel. I am the watchdog. No? Pag watchdog, hindi ka lang basta pinupuna at tinitingnan yung mga tao o mga Israelita. You are there to dissuade them of their wrongdoings and you are also there to, pers- to persuade them to do what is right. That is the point no? of being the watchdog. Hindi lang yung basta pinupuna mo para makasira ka ng kapwa. It's always about building and rebuilding relationship. Building and rebuilding the people to go back to the Lord. So yun ang sinasabi ni Prophet Ezekiel. If you want to overcome conflict, have that fraternal correction in view of always dissuading the wrongdoings of others and persuading to do what is right. Yan ang gagawin natin ngayong panahon ng pandemya. Sa mga kaklose natin, mga kakilala natin, always remind ourselves no, na pag lumabas tayo ng bahay, dapat naka-face mask, dapat naka-face shield. To show that we are concerned, that we care and love for one another. Kasi we would like to stop the transmission of this virus. And to show our love and concern is for us to practice precautionary measure. Ako nasa loob ako ng kwarto, ng studio, kaya wala akong mask. For the moment I step out of this room, dapat nakamask and face shield na ako. So sana ganun din ang gagawin natin. Why are we doing this? Because we become the watchdog to the people. Telling them what to do and what not to do. Kasi masyado tayong kom- complacent eh. Na minsan ay... Uh, Pagka nag-face mask and face shield tayo, pero paglabas, kausap natin mga kaibigan natin, tinatanggal natin. Yun pa nga ang dapat hindi tanggalin. No? So let us become watchdog to the people. In the letter of Paul to the Romans, telling us about the commandments, the Ten Commandments, also remind us that we have that transac- more than just transactional relationship to one another. Kasi nga, Sabi niya, we owe you love. No? Parang uh, may utang, no? transactional. But more than just that, it reminds us of the general dictum of our Christian life. That is, to do good and to avoid evil. Minsan kasi one-sided lang tayo. Sinasabi ni St. Paul, yes, hindi ka nakapatay, hindi ka nakiapid, hindi ka, hindi ka nanira ng tao. But at the same time, are you also doing what is good? Because Christian dictum tells us, avoid sin, do good. Avoid evil, do something good. So, kung hindi ka nagnakaw, ang tanong naman is, 
have you shared something, even a little what you have, to the people in need? Hindi ka nga nakapatay, but have you showed your concern to the people around you? Hindi ka nga nakasira ng reputasyon ng ibang tao, pero natuto ka bang mag-appreciate sa mga mahal mo sa buhay? I think it is not just a way for us to say that I am a Christian because I avoid evil. For us to care and love our community and family, it's not just avoidance. There has to be the balance to do something good or even better to each and every person. Finally, in the gospel, we find Jesus telling us that if we really care and love our community, to resolve conflict is to undergo the series of process. Dito matitest ang ating patient. No? Pasensyoso, no? Di porket nagkamali, talagang isinumpa mo na. There has to be the process. Because what you have in mind is to win the heart of this person and bringing this person back to the Lord. So it takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of prayers. It takes a lot of effort to win the heart of the person, to tell the person of his or her wrongdoing na hindi siya masisiraan ng loob bagkos maging inspiration for that person to go back to the Lord. If we really care for our family and community, if we really love our family and community, dapat ginagawa natin to. We become watchdog to dissuade them of their wrongdoing and persuade them to the good. We become Christians with the balance of avoiding sin and doing much better. And we have the patience and the effort to win the hearts of the people back to the Lord. Kung ginagawa natin ito, one thing for sure, healing will happen into this land. Healing will come not only in our heart, but throughout the land. So sana itong dasal natin ngayon, lalo na sa mga kabataan. How can we bring out the culture of caring and loving? Hindi yung selfish lang. Ako lang, wala akong pakialam. Bahala ng kapitbahay ko kung magkabayro sila, basta ako, wala. The culture of caring, the culture of loving. And for the young people to have that culture and the skill of dialogue, to communicate amidst precautionary measure to communicate the love and care to one another. So today as we continue this Mass, sana po ito magiging basihan natin at maging inspirasyon natin. If we really want to stop this transmission of the disease, of the virus, if we want care and family and, and, and love for our family and community, sana ang mga pagbasa magiging gabay natin. So at the end of the day, when we care and love for one another, healing will happen into this land. And healing will happen because of us. May God bless us all. Let us now all together profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father May. Almighty maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. 
I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayer of the Faithful God, our Father, is generous and patient with us despite our sins and failing. He wants us to be the same to our brethren in sin and error. With confidence we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Give the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons a heart that reaches out to sinners so that they may be effective ministers of reconciliation. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May all of us gathered here in the Eucharist see the wisdom and the words of St. Paul today. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Move judges, soldiers, and policemen, and those working in rehabilitation centers, temper justice with love, and to always respect the inviolable rights of persons. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May sinners and those who stray from the right path come to their senses and ask pardon from the Lord and be reconciled with the Christian community. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. May the elders and the homebound see God's comfort and the consolation and the compassion of those who care for them. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear our prayers. Heal our troubled consciences and wounded heart, and unite us as family in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Almighty, Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who gave us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks to the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raise up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so all the angels, we pray you, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he will be treated and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and was more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you when for many, but the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say... Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with peace you. Be. Peace be with you, Father.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we when are called to receive him. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life to the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gift that we may merit an eternal share in its life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray the Oratio Imperata. Oratio Imperata. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Okay, so before the final blessing, I would like to greet the birthday celebrant for the month of September. Uh, I hope that uh, the pandemic will not uh, be an obstacle for us to celebrate light. And of course, also Grandparents' Day, no? sa mga seniors na hindi na makakalabas ngayong pandemya, uh, celebrate, no? celebrate Grandparents' Day this month of September. Final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. 
Bestow pardon and peace, O Lord, we pray, upon your faithful, that they may be cleansed from every offense and serve you with a troubled heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let, us all, let us all thank Reverend Father Bogi Takdoro SSP for celebrating the Holy Mass with us. Our celebration continues with a worship and a talk after the Mass. Please stay online and be blessed. <laughs> again brothers and sisters how is everyone i hope and i pray that everyone of you is safe and doing well i'd like to start uh, my exhortation today by telling you about this one truth that giving is an act of our obedience to god it was martin luther who said that there are three conversions necessary for a Christian life. The first conversion is the conversion of the heart. The second conversion is the conversion of the mind. And the third conversion is the conversion of the purse or pitaka or wallet or yung ating bulsa, no? the conversion of our purse. And so for a Christian, it is not difficult to say, I believe in God, or I will follow Jesus, or I love you, Lord. But let me ask you something. How are we in putting into practice our faith and our love for the Lord? You know, in the Old Testament, God told the Israelites to give one-tenth of what they owed, or what they, what they owned to the Lord. In the New Testament, however, Jesus instructed his followers to be able to give generously and cheerfully in proportion to how we would like the Lord to be generous to us. You know, I'd like to share with you our story. We have been in this spiritual family for the past, what, 30 years now? Yep, starting in 1990. And I believe that at the start, it was difficult for me to be able to part away or give away a certain portion of my income. Alam nyo, I must admit that kunikwentahan ko pa si Lord doon. Inasabi ko, ilan kaya ang pwedeng mabili ko nito? Or saan kaya kami pwedeng pumunta dito sa mga ibinibigay ko kay Lord? No? At kung minsan, talagang hirap na hirap ako mag magsulat ng amount sa mga cheque no? na uh, as part of our tithes. But I'd like to tell you what. We have been faithful, humility aside, 
that we have been faithful all throughout those years. And if ever I will be missing to give a tithe in one month, I would make, make it a point that I would be able to compensate for that the following month. And so, after 30 years, here we are now. Yung mga kwenta ko kay Lord na pwede kong mabili or maaari namin puntahan. Nako, grabe, pinagkaloob niya sa aming lahat yon lahat. Sobra pa. May bonus pa. And so, Jesus said in Luke chapter 6, verse 38, Give and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full, pressed down, shaken together to make room for more, running over and poured into your lap. The amount you give will determine the amount you will get back. Brothers and sisters, when we give, a scripture encourages us and that giving is sacrificial. When we give until it hurts, then our heart is truly involved in it. Then, and then only then, can we say that we are being an obedient follower. Friends, God wants us also to give out of a grateful response to what we have been receiving. We have been given our salvation. Jesus died for us. My question is, have we also given our all? Have we given until it hurts too? Jesus did not teach us to just give us a tenth. In the New Testament, he taught us in some ways to give our all. In the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 9, verse 7, it says there, you must each decide in your heart how much to give. And do not just give reluctantly or in response to pressure. For God loves one who gives cheerfully. Giving, brothers and sisters, our all to Jesus, giving our time, our talents, and our treasure is not only an evidence of our obedience to Him, but most of all, giving our all is a demonstration, is a manifestation, is an evidence of how much we truly love our God. God bless you, brothers and sisters, and have fun in listening to our talks, and I pray and I hope that you will be blessed by them. God bless you, and see you again next week.